All right, we just watched the Mujin video covering the Genshin boycott drama, but hey, Rev has something to say. Let's see it. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. So today we're going to be talking about Genshin Impact because yeah. there is some true insanity taking place among a portion of their fan base. So what's going on? Well, recently MiHoYo revealed a new region coming to Genshin Impact That's called right. Natlin, and this reveal was immediately met with people on Twitter claiming all sorts of things like cultural appropriation and... Cultural erasure, bro. My entire identity and history is being erased because the local deity of Oreron or some shit is now a femboy twink. I can't believe this. Racism. Now, it's funny because these same people on Twitter often justify the race swapping of existing characters, but they're now crying about the melanin yeah. of characters representing a fictional region in a video game. Which is inspired. Remember, not based on it is inspired by those continents. And anytime you want to get mad at erasure of history or culture, what do we do? We have the perfect counter that's right, right? What do we do? Fate, Grand Order. Uh, let's check at uh, what other characters is there? What's a ridiculous character that's a huge waifu in the game, but like a dude in history other than King Arthur? Does anyone know? Fuck, I'm not, I can't really think of it on the top of my head. Mordred, maybe? FGO Mordred? Leonardo? Yeah, here's Mordred, by the way. Mordred, this is the son of Saber, King Arthur. Yeah, a son, by the way. Now we're mixing in gender with the history culture erasure, man. What is going on? Da Vinci as well, that's right. But no one talks about that. You know why no one talks about fake Grand Order? Because it's not Genshin Impact and people can't get mad at it on fucking Twitter, bro. No region in a video game. And we've covered some of the initial responses to mm. this reveal. A lot of people on Twitter are encouraging people to falsely report official Genshin Impact accounts <laughs> for hate speech. We've and the funniest thing is these losers will continue to play Genshin Impact, boost the viewership of Genshin Impact, still play while advocating for brigades and saying don't spy, don't spend, degenerate losers. We've seen a full-on boycott started where they're even instructing you to contact your local politicians. That's right. If you live out in North Carolina, contact your local politicians and they'll call Mr. Mihoyo and they'll say, Mr. Mihoyo, this is not acceptable. We need more melanin in these characters. And Mr. Mihoyo will say, Whoa, tell me, mother pigu. How about the situation? And you'll notice with these boycotts, they'll say all these things, but one thing they won't tell you is to stop playing Genshin Impact. In yeah. fact, a lot of people joining in on this supposed boycott are still playing the game. Gacha addicted children losers who don't realize that change can only be made if you actually hurt their bottom line, but they're gonna continue playing and giving good numbers and analytics for Genshin. And on top of that, those people might not have the opportunity to keep playing Genshin Impact if this boycott is successful because one of their goals is to falsely report Genshin to the Apple Store and Google Play for offensive content. They want to remove this game for everyone because they're upset about the characters from this Natlin region. Loki kind of based because Genshin sucks? I'm kidding. Now that would, if that actually happened, that would be significant. I don't think it would ever go through. There's no fucking way a billion dollar company like Hoyoverse would lose to random kids over a fucking App Store dispute, bro. Flames, the English voice actors for Genshin Impact have come forward and encouraged these protests and yes. encouraged players to email and contact Genshin Impact and MiHoYo over this. That was uh, Sino's voice actor, right? Sino, and then there, who's Sayu, and then there's also that Olivia Rodriguez person who was Sucrose's voice actor, I think was mentioned in the Mujin video. Situation, including voice actors like this saying email them with a template here talking about cultural appropriation among other things okay and this couldn't happen in a worse time because right now english voice actors for video games yeah are on a protest they are on strike right now because Over they're AI. worried about getting replaced by ai and just like with you know who won't complain about representation and the erasure of culture ai you think that Hoyoverse is going to see this and be like, you know, these voice actors are a liability. They're speaking out against our brand. We're going to replace you with AIs now. Now, I would never side with the corporation against the working class. However, there are some situations where 
the working class are just being fucking dumb, right? It, this is, it's mostly children, dumb kids that have no understanding of how life works and they're just saying dumb shit online when they realize that if you really wanted to fucking make these changes, just stop playing the game, but you're all gotcha addicted so you can't stop playing the game while you spout for, you know, social justice like this. It just looks so hypocritical and that's why people are, you know, making fun of you. Anime and manga localizers getting replaced by AI. Everyone knows that AI is not the idea. And there's another thing, right? Only kids boycott. I think there's a whole uh, topic to be had about how some older people are going to say, oh, you know, you're idealistic, naive kids. How dare you speak on social justice and try to protest? No, go ahead and protest. If it's for a cause you actually care about, if it's so important to you, do it. Boycott and protest. But, but at the same time, you cannot say that this matters so much and then still play the game. That's the part that pisses a lot of people off. It's not about the boycotting. It's the contradiction of action of these dumbass kids that are saying, you know, boycott this, boycott that, making a huge fucking holy war based off a skin tone of a video game character in a fictional fucking world that's based, that's inspired by a continent, but then they continue to play the game while vouching for the other causes. That contrast is what really makes people just like laugh at you. Deal position to be and not the ideal solution, but nobody's going to feel sorry for you when you're replaced by AI because you're annoying. But on top of that, this is the latest update here. The petition 100,000 is quite significant in numbers, but at the end of the day, those people are not the target audience that makes, you know, Hoyoverse money, so it doesn't fucking matter. So a few days ago, the official boycott and petition here has now reached 100,000 signatures. Here's the uh, post saying, a hundred thousand signatures strong. We did this it! Amazing milestone shows just how we solved racism, guys. Many of us care. Your support can now make a real impact, a Genshin impact. <laughs> Let's keep pushing for action and keep signing. And you can see right here their message. They're kind of uh, their their war cry here. United for yeah. authentic representation which sounds a lot like authentic casting that we talked about previously with mm -hmm. ProZD, who for many years preached about authentic casting, meaning he wanted voice actors to be hired for characters that match their own real life ethnicity. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. That sounds kind of inherently wrong. Now, I think the topic of that is because, um, White supremacy, a lot of, you know, white people have better advantages in voice acting gigs compared to other people who don't have the same level of equity. Therefore, there's more white voice actors taking on roles that are not really matching their heritage. And in order to combat that, some people are thinking we need to give, if you're black, then you can voice black characters. If you're Asian, you can voice Asian characters. I think that is the idea. Something about that feels wrong. I feel like at the end of the day, it's all meritocracy. If your voice and the way that you voice that character matches what the author thought about for that character, then shouldn't that be the only thing that matters? Now, that becomes a problem when other people of color and minorities cannot compete because of the lack of resources to get there. That's like a systemic infrastructure thing. But this sounds a little stupid. Of course, this would be... Fun fact. Cleveland? Right? Family Guy? Cleveland? You guys know who this is? Could you have guessed that this voice actor is white? Yeah. And Cleveland was fucking amazing. Would have never guessed that. Another one is like Beyblade Metal Fusion, which is completely, completely random right now. There's a character named Madoka in Beyblade. And she's actually black. She voices this character here. In the English voice, she's actually black. And never once did I ever think that, oh, because she is this race or representative, that it, it failed or something, or it wasn't good or it wasn't bad. It's just that I felt like whatever character that Madoka or Cleveland is trying to represent, it just makes sense to me. Backfire horribly when years later, ProZD would lose roles because he couldn't voice white characters under this same Damn. theory of authentic casting that he had been promoting for years. You're that is so ironic. You're trying to be so inclusive by trying to vouch for, you know, uh, what's it called, prominent, uh, what, what's it called? You're supposed to play that specific role according to your race, but suddenly 
You can you as the minority can no longer get roles because of that. You know what I keep saying about how people that either are too left or too right of the political spectrum, they go so extreme that they come out the other corner. Remember that one example I gave where there's a live action Kakegurui, the gambling anime, where if you lose, you become a literal slave and you get a collar placed onto you. And the diversity inclusive people that might not have been really aware of the content when making the IRL fucking anime live action, they put a lot of black actors in it. What's gonna fucking happen when they lose? You gonna go with that? Like, it's a bad look, right? It's like, did you ever think about that? You go so left that you come out right. You reap what you sow. But this is similar. And honestly, the, the situation with Genshin Impact is even more ridiculous because we're talking about representation of a group of people that don't exist. Mm. But anyways, uh, as we look at the 100,000 signatures on this petition and boycott, what does it really mean? Well, it doesn't mean a whole lot. So if you look at some of the results and posts like this, that 100,000 totals to about 0.1% of the total downloads on Android devices. Only Android, by the way, not even iOS. And you know what the craziest shit is? This 0.1%, the 100,000 people that, that, that you know, signed the petition, they're also not even probably from China or the Asian market where Genshin Impact Hoyoverse makes the bulk of their fucking sales. So who the fuck would care about these ants right here? That's not even part of the majority in their own fucking, you know, platform. Like, why would people care about this? Places. That's a very, very small number of players. And that's assuming all of the people signing these petitions Whale. are actually playing Genshin Impact or were yeah. at some point. I would yeah. largely guess, pretty confidently guess, that a lot of people signing that petition don't actually play Genshin Impact. And they're Probably just not. kind of going with this LARP because it's fun to complain and protest things for these people. But on top of that, yeah. if you look at... This chart that Mujin showed us, right? We know this. I'm surprised that North America, again, is not combined in there. But it's Asian countries that fucking spend. They don't care about North American losers that don't spend. The regions of this game that are most relevant to Genshin's success, you'll see a lot of countries. But one country you won't see is the United States. It's not even in yeah, this why? list of regions. It's that small in terms Damn. of representation. And a lot of the... I'm surprised that Canada has more than the United States. That's genuinely mind-boggling. People signing that petition and actively talking about the situation are Americans. So you can see the impact of that petition isn't that strong based on the regions that are supporting mm -hmm. it. And this is kind of the opposite of what's going on with the Assassin's Creed Shadow situation where there is a petition with a very similar number of signatures. But the difference is the outrage stemming from that game comes from regions they're trying to market to and yep. that are very important to the success of that game. The United States, many Western countries, but also Japan. A lot of the outrage is coming from Japan. And with this Genshin Impact drama, Japan is the most represented region in terms of players, and they don't care. They're not joining in on this. And Wonder if he's going to see show the Billy Billy forum comment about how the uh, Asian audience may think about, you know, light skin or dark skin people. Any sort of a significant level. And on top of that, the official responses, I guess you can call the automated response. responses from MiHoYo have been bot responses reminding players yeah. that Genshin is not real life. And that is a very important point that pretty much shuts down this whole thing. It yeah. is not a real place. The game is not real. They can do whatever they want. It, in terms of skin color, the, the, the people from the Natlin region could be purple. What, what is preventing them from doing that? Well, again, it's it's the whole thing of like, it's not based on the content or culture, it's based on, sorry, it's inspired by it, but there's also this whole, you know, you get, the Hoyoverse is laid down in the contracts in the beginning saying, you know, at no point do we actually say that this is real work of art, this is just like fucking, it's, it's fictional characters, and yeah, I understand, again, at the end of the day, this just boils down to, it sucks that people that actually wanted or were hyped about representation, about their own skin tone to their different cultures were waiting for Sumeru in that land, they didn't get that, I get it, it sucks, but like, the people then that are going to go out to say, oh my god, cancel Genshin, we need to fucking, you know, sign a petition, but still play the game. That's the part that just, like, is so funny. This delusional children that are going out on a fucking holy crusade, yet they're still playing the game, and you wonder why people laugh at you. But on top of that, we have seen so much hyper-focus on race and skin color and things like that, that we're seeing very bizarre posts like this. This person saying, retweet to scare Hoyoverse. 
and they have a chart tracking different skin tones. This is the kind of stuff you would see in the slave trade, okay? This uh, there's a Family Guy meme, right? There's a, sorry. What, what is this? Family Guy skin tone chart. I remember this, this is hilarious. Fuck, it's, it's this, bro. Like you have a chart of skin tone where the police pulls you over and they deem if you're a criminal or not based on this fucking chart. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. This is very odd to see. And now people in the name of fighting racism are making po posts like this. It's very bizarre. And on top of that, I have to censor here because this is technically a leak. But oh. people are freaking out over some of the previews of the game that are being leaked, including one of the characters doing... Oh, I saw this tweet! I remember when I first uploaded my Natland trailer reaction and there was a tweet going viral about Capoeira and like the source of that dance and not matching the character's actual like heritage. A dance where this individual says, Please tell me why Kachina, a character inspired by Native Americans, is doing the capoeira, a Afro-Brazilian martial art made by enslaved West Africans, Jesus. and her skin tone doesn't even represent such. <sighs> Again, like probably people should have done the due diligence and homework to understand what the themes of different, you know, things are. Like capoeira, they probably just thought that it looked like a cool dance, and people of this region, you know, practice that, and that's why they put it in. But like this is, <sighs> I don't know. Genshin, what are you doing? 20,000 likes, by the way. Here's the note, though. It has a community note that is adding some context and dispelling these weird claims, saying beyond the original poster's inability to differentiate between capoeira and breakdancing, their premise is still wrong. Oh, they were just breakdancing? It wasn't capoeira? For one reason. Brazilian culture is not racially segregated. Imagine... So... It was already not capoeira, it was break dancing. And on top of that, what they said about West Africans were enslaved. It was an Afro-Brazilian martial art made by enslaved West. That was also wrong? Someone having to tell you this on Twitter because you're having a spurg out over a character break dancing in Genshin Impact. But anyways... Like, actually though. And here's the fate, you know, examples of how we say, like, you know, erasure of history and stuff like that, and how we have fucking King Arthur Saber. Oh, sorry, this is Nero right now, but they kind of look the same. But on this topic, like, if you, like, imagine, like, like, at a certain point, you have to be extremely reaching, being so fucking sweaty, trying to figure out what to get mad at, if it's gonna be an issue like this, right? The fact that you went out of the way to identify that specific dance and do some fucking homework and try to come up with the reason as to why this could be like racist, that is an insane fucking reach. Terminally online, just degenerates that has no job, no nothing, nothing going on, trying to figure out how they can get mad with this current trend of shitting on Genshin for this, you know, a Natlan release. Over a character breakdancing in Genshin Impact. But anyways, a lot Nero. of people are claiming the reason this boy Valentine's Nero, everybody knows is the best Nero. God, it's so important because they don't want history in, in these regions to have their, their, their narrative rewritten or somehow misrepresented, yes. which again... And the best counter to that again is Fate Grant Order of like, why aren't you getting mad at this shit, huh? It involves a fictional region. None of the citizens of Natlin are going to come forward and be upset yeah. about this. But people are comparing this to... If we apply Sword Art Online Arisization concept of AI and NPCs becoming sentient, what do you think would happen? What if the Natlan characters became sentient and became aware of these social causes? Do you think they would revolt? Do you think the AI would start to figure out ways of getting upset, saying like, oh my god, we were created for this specific reason? No, I think we're getting a little bit too deep into it. Fake Grand Order. Because they have a lot of historical characters that they, of course, turn into cute anime girls. Yeah. If you search certain names, you'll get characters from Fake yeah. Grand Order. And this is just... Search up Da Vinci. ...made as a joke because everyone knows this is not trying to rewrite history. It's just the result of this game being popular. And the same thing goes back to Genshin Impact. Yeah. But a lot of people... Oh my gosh, she is... Dude, her design... 
the amount of fan art that I've seen and oh my god, she is so fucking good. People joining in on this boycott are now targeting Fate Grand Order, which is very funny. You can see this post sharing a character. Worst design ever created by man? No, this is the most down bad semen demon design ever created by man. <laughs> from Fate Grand Order saying, without exaggeration, this is the worst design ever. <laughs> I mean, the amount of fan service in this character is insane, but it's clearly marketed towards, you know, the Coomers. Created by man, which is a bit of an exaggeration. See, you're mad over the design of this character. I'm mad because that was yeah. a very useless servant when I was playing uh, Fate Grand. Yeah, she wasn't really very meta, right? I, in fact, the four-star girl, um, the girl that has like the instant death mechanic, I think she was way better. And order a few years ago she was completely useless that's why i don't like that character but anyways people make raiden. some more comparisons here this person saying raiden occupying the highest position in ina zuma which can a woman do that back in those periods hold up can a woman be a shogun back then represents japan with an extremely sexualized and short kimono not even prostitutes in japan wear clothes like She's a fucking oidon, I think that's what they call it, right? Uh, courtesans. This. So this is what they're calling hyper-sexualized. Extremely sexualized. Oh my god. It is literally showing a- I mean, relative to how modest the culture was back in Japan with their, you know, dress code, perhaps. But come on now. A few inches of her legs. Like, don't let people like this go to a public beach or a public pool because they might lose their minds. Also, the act of pulling out that fucking sword out of her titties is something they don't even care about. But someone would quote them saying this. Yeah. Seeing Hoyaverse fans complaining. <sighs> she was my favorite character in FGO. And she was actually fucking good. Berserker class, meaning she could just like hit hard against fucking everybody. The AOE dominance she had. Oh my god. Mama Raiko. And then the summer version with the spear version is even more fan service than this. And she was also fucking cracked. Raiko might be one of my favorites. Favorite characters in Fate Grand Order. Over this design makes me think of how much they lose their minds if she looks like Raiko from. More than Jalter, I must say it. Raiko over Jalter. I don't care how sweaty you are with the fucking boss fights and single target DPS. I don't care. Raiko over Jalter. Fate Grand Order. And yes, people would get very upset about this particular design from Fate Grand Order, where you can see this comparison of Hoyo fans versus Fate fans. Well, this person says, also, fate designs are genuinely so effing ugly, and- I mean, they may be ugly to you, but to a lot of horny kids out there, a lot of dudes who likes balloons for jugs, listen, I appreciate the art, okay? I'm thankful that someone made this. Ugly, and then this response really just captures the difference between those fan bases. This person says, nah, it's great. And then the yes. original poster responds saying, Gooners will see Big Booba and immediately start applauding without considering anything else. Not wrong. You are not wrong. Yes, absolutely. We're just cumin. Where the other user replies, it's great. Cope. It is great. And the Gooners will also still apply. They're, they're both correct here. Harder. Then the original poster replies, give me a reason. It's great. And then the... Uh, Huge tits. The person responds saying, because I like it and my tastes are superior to yours oh, and that's damn. really all you have to say when you're explaining why you like a certain character design <laughs> if you like it that's good enough you don't need to bend over backwards to people on twitter to explain the intricacies of why you like the design of a certain anime girl it's ridiculous but overall this whole boycott has shown yeah. really the way people on twitter like to larp for attention and to Join Absolutely. It's just a bunch of dumb kids that realize that if they talk shit about Hoyoverse or something else, they go for negative engagements, that the notifications go up, they get engagement, likes go up because of the dopamine hits their brain because they're so fucking lonely and depressed and they have nothing going on in their fucking lives. But at the very least, doing something like this brings a little bit of attention to themselves. They're fucking seeking attention. They have nothing better to do. Who the fuck would actually get mad at shit like this unless you are literally terminally online and too fucking... You have nothing better to do. Like genuinely people that actually are too busy with their lives and moving forward with their fucking dreams. You think that they get, go out of the way to get fucking mad at the fucking capo era thing of all things? Going in on some sort of a movement just because it is the trendy and popular thing to do. These people are trying to boycott something while actively still playing and supporting it. It just goes to show that all this noise is completely useless. And yes. 
miHoYo doesn't care. They're going to continue, and that's really all there is to it. But he's right. And my final takeaway, and guys, go give Reb a sub, like his videos if you did. And my final takeaway on the same as it's same as the Mujin video. What did I say? At the end of the day, I think there is some correctness in how Genshin Impact is, you know, not delivering on the representation that their fan base wanted, right? It's not up to the Hoyoverse company to do such a thing, but I can understand why people will be mad and trying to want to make a movement. But if you want to make a movement, if you truly want to boycott and make a fucking difference, you need to hurt their bottom line. You need to hurt their wallets. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen because they only give a fuck about China. But you can still try to do something. But the actions of these kids going online, going on these holy crusades saying, you know, still play the game, just don't buy the battle pass don't you know spending game you are fucking stupid you are a plankton in this ecosystem of an ocean where the whales will prey upon you everything that you're doing even if you're free to play you are still a cucked loser being a free to play player and being proud of it is the most loser behavior in gotcha games if you go work an eight hour fucking shift at mcdonald's and if you compare that to where you grinded mint picking in genshin impact for eight hours and then use that money for mcdonald's swiped your card and bought the primos you would have way more value there what does that mean it means that you're fucking wasting your time you're not even enjoying the game no one actually cares about the exploration and min picking and going on dates with these different characters unless you're delusional you are cucked you're a loser you don't actually believe in the social causes you're saying and that's why people make fun of you even if this boycott is justified see you on the next one